Hello there, welcome to another video. Let's talk about becoming a softer woman. My first tip of becoming a softer woman is having a positive attitude. Look at the brighter side of things and be kind to yourself. I know it sounds a tad bit cliche, but smile your way through your problems because at the end of the day, abundance is your birthright. It will eventually find its way to you with ease. They say that half of your beauty comes from the way you speak. A gentle approach in discussing things is way much better than an aggressive attempt to get a point across. And I'm not saying that you should be silent for you to appear soft in any way. Girl, speak your mind if you have to, because you can still have a strong mind and still possess a soft demeanor. You can still speak your mind, but being polite about it, because one thing about words is that they can either plant gardens or burn forests down. Having good manners and proper etiquette is a trait that is attractive. Treating people well without knowing what they do for a living speaks a lot about you in a good way. Basic habits like sneezing into your handkerchief rather than your hands, using words like please or may I, and greeting people kindly will speak volume about you. Our choice of clothing plays a huge part on how we present ourselves. Wearing clothes that are flattering and well-fitted helps you embody a more softer and feminine feeling. It's hard to feel soft and feminine when you're stressed or have a lot going on. Just like a flower, you bloom if you take time to do yourself. Nourish your mind, spirit and body with healthy habits. It's going to help you tap into your softer side. Our facial expressions sometimes can diminish our attempt to appear softer. Now, I'm not saying that you should change your persona because we are all unique and everyone possesses their beauty. But a tad bit of improvement here and there can come a long way. We often get caught up hanging on situations that are above our control or cross situations that backtrack our softness. Holding on to past situations prevents you from tapping into your softer side. Learn to let go and stop giving CPR to dead situations. On this my loves brings me to the end. I hope you liked it and if you did please hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you in my next one.